Okay, tonight's homework is over dividing integers. Write this title on the top line of your paper, 11-4, dividing integers. Okay, your objective tonight, represent integer operations with concrete models and connect the actions to the standardized algorithms. So we're going to begin with the model, and then we'll be headed to the algorithm before we're done. Pause your video, write down this entire objective. Okay, next, how are fact families useful in dividing integers? Say, skip three lines, you'll want to go back and fill this in. Remember, we are counting off now if you do not have this complete. So if you miss this, it's 10 points off. It's one of your numbers. Okay, this time just watch for a second. A diver needs to descend, which means decrease, to a depth of 100 feet. He wants to do it in five equal descents. That means he, he in five equal um, parts. Like he would dive down a little bit and then stop and then dive a little bit farther and stop. So he starts at zero and goes to 100 or to negative 100 in five descents. So pretty much what you're gonna have is negative 100 divided by five. So it would be five equal descents would be 20 feet in each descent. So it'd be negative 20, you're decreasing 20 feet. So it'd be negative 100 divided by five equals negative 20. Okay, the next thing, uh, number three in your journal, write down the introduction problem. Remember fact families from elementary? We're gonna do the same thing, but I want you to think about the division sentences that go with this now. If two times negative three is negative six, and negative three times positive two is negative six, you learned those yesterday, what two division sentences could go with this? Tell me what two division sentences would use these exact numbers. I'll give you a second to think about it, or you can pause first. So I just know that if I start with my negative six, and I can divide by either one of these, I can divide by positive two, and I would get the other number, negative three. Or I can take negative six, divide by negative three, and I'm gonna get a positive two. That's your fact, family. That's helping you think about your guiding question here. Now your patterns, you should notice. If eight times two is 16, then 16 divided by two is eight. If negative eight times two is a negative 16, then a negative 16 divided by two is negative eight. Two times negative eight is negative 16, then 16 divided by negative two would be a negative eight. But then if negative two times negative eight is a positive 16, then, oh, this is written backwards here. This will be a positive 16 divided by a negative two equals negative eight. Okay, so positive divided by negative will be negative because this means that this negative times this negative would give you that positive. Okay, those are your patterns. Write down your observations. What do you notice here? What do you think the rules might be? Okay, number five, you solve these on your own. Think about your facts family. I would do this as blank times negative two equals positive 10. Use your fact family to solve it. What number times negative two would give me positive 10? Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, so we know this number would be negative. So what is it? Pause your video and solve this problem now. Okay, number six, negative nine divided by three equals what? That's the same thing. It's three, this number, times this number here would give me negative nine. So three times what is negative nine? Number seven, pause your video again. Negative 12 divided by negative three. Again, you just wanna know what that answer is. So I would say these two multiply together. So what number times negative three gives me negative 12? Solve that number right there. Okay, write down your rules for dividing integers here. A positive divided by a positive is positive. Positive divided by a negative is negative. Negative divided by a positive is negative. And negative divided by a negative is positive. Just write all these down in your journal. Make these neat. Put a big box around them. Make it really neat. Make it stand out in your journal because you'll want to refer back to these. Okay, make them stand out. Make them look pretty in there. Make them nice and neat and organized. Okay, number nine, tell me what questions do you still have? If you have no questions about dividing integers, what was the most difficult part of this? What do you think could make this more difficult? 
Tell me something. Tell me what is most difficult or what questions you still have. Okay, number 10, rate yourself. Give me a one, two, three, four, or five, just like you do every night. Tell me how well you understand it. Be honest because this is gonna tell me how much we need to help you in class. Don't forget, go back and answer your guiding question. Go back and make sure you wrote the title on the top line of your page and then write this in your table of contents. You don't have to write it. If you took two pages, you don't need to write it for both pages, just the beginning page. So do these three things and you are done with your homework. Have a great night.